are gathered here today to witness magic. Something we thought was impossible, but a sign was given to us from above. It is within this crystal ball our ancestors used to gather and conceal knowledge from the very beginning of time, previously thought only to be seen by the immortals. Our one and true goddess, Mara, show us your days of darkness and light. Help us understand the emotions you went through to create what we are known today, humans. My existence began here, in the void. It wasn't the dark, nor empty space, because physically, I knew I was there. But I didn't seem to understand why. What was the purpose of me being there? It felt lonely. The best I could do was to observe and imagine what this place could be if I put my mind to it. All these translucent colors made me feel disconnected from this environment. And that's where I got my first idea. To create a world that seamlessly communicates and develops together with me. This world was supposed to be peaceful, colorful, and beautiful. But in a blink of an eye, it got overshadowed by dark clouds, which now I know was confusion and anger. I tried to create something based on emotions I didn't fully understand myself. The path I had engraved in my heart had a thick layer of mist surrounding it. And for the longest period of time, I was angry at myself for not knowing which direction to take, nor how to get untangled from this mess I had created. And before I even knew it, I had completely lost the battle against myself. I had become a reflection of something I was afraid of. An empty shell, wandering through different worlds filled with nothing but sorrow. I was like a ghost that was stuck in between worlds, not able to find a way out. It didn't matter which direction I took, I always ended up right back where I started. I decided to name this nightmare, Despair. This emotion was the definition of hell, but it also united something unexpected in me. Instead of dwelling on my past, I started thinking about what I could improve upon in the future. What would be my next approach? And the second after these thoughts, I could feel this warm light touching my skin. It was the sun. My body and mind felt a sense of relief. For the first time in what felt like an eternity, I could see beyond the horizon. Hope is what I decided to call this wonderful emotion I felt within me. No matter how difficult the times might get, hope is something that I should remember and hold on to. Remember, no feeling is eternal. Time eventually changes. Your world changes. You change. <laughs>